Geographically, Nepal is a South Asian country comprised of 14 zones and 75 administrative districts. Well-known identity of Nepal is the country of high mountains, interesting biodiversity and multicultural society. The districts Gorkha, Lamjung, Manang, Mustang, Myagdi, Parvat and Khaski are world famous trekking destinations of Annapurna circuit. This route is the best way to see the exclusive natural panorama along with uncountable and beautiful hilltops, streams, brooks, cascades, waterfalls, lakes, ever white shining snow-covered peaks, hilly villages, Himalayan settlements, as well as beautiful pilgrimage sites like Muktinath, Kagbeni, Hot Spring, Pokhara's Tal Barahi and Bindyabasini Temple. Tourists are attracted to Nepal mainly for trekking, expedition, leisure tours and adventure sports. Trekking in the Annapurna circuit is one of the primary attractions for all the tourists looking for mountain adventure. We begin our trekking trip from Kathmandu soon after we reach Thankot. We follow Prithivi Highway along with Trishuli River Bank. From Mungling, the left highway goes to Chiton by crossing a landmark bridge over Marsyangdi and Trishuli rivers. Dugri is our next and the final town on the highway from where we take a right turn to follow Besi Sahar. Beshi Shahar is district headquarter of Lamjung. The distance of Kathmandu to Beshi Shahar is just six hours comfortable drive. After having some rest in Beshi Shahar, we proceed through gravel road to reach Bulbule Bazaar. Once we look around surrounding area, we can see falls, brooks and natural scenery. And this road along river bank will take us to Siange. Siange Bazaar is our first camp as we start from Kathmandu. Next morning, after breakfast, we get ready to proceed. Immediately we encounter a spectacularly big and beautiful waterfall before our eyes and we start our trek. This whole area with Marsyangdi River making noise with melody and all surrounding places seem to be blessed to look like heaven. How wonderful! Such villages on the way of Annapurna circuit. As we proceed, 
we can see more beautiful hilly landscape with steep hills, with beehives. Once, a film on honey hunting in such steep hills was a topic of discussion worldwide. After walking for about 10 minutes from Tal village, we can see beautiful waterfall in Upside Hill. We can see many beautiful waterfalls almost every day. This is one of the real beauties of Shangri-La. Annapurna circuit trek follows from Siange to Tal, Dharapani, Bagarchap, Danakyu and finally reaches Chami district headquarter of Manang after two days. Walking for 30 minutes from Chami, we reach Toleku village and again in another hour we reach Bratang village. We can see apple farming under the stone cliff which looks like glass wall. When we look around, we can see pine forests that revitalizes the trekkers. We reach Pisang village quite fast. This village has settlement of Gurung people where we visit Buddhist monastery as well. Hence, most of the people in this region are Buddhist and worship Lord Buddha. From Pisang, there are two trails to reach Manang. The upper trail is a little difficult one for trek and with possibilities of altitude sickness, but this route will be the best way to observe excellent scene of Mount Annapurna. So, this is one of the most favoured way. Pisang village, after walking for about two hours, we can reach Giru village. Again, in about two hours treks, on straight, and then we reach Ngawal village. Further two hours trekking straight and steep up climb will connect you to Braga village which is nearby Manang village. Most of the trekkers take lower path from Pisang village. In about one hour walk we can reach Deurali. From here we can see half portion of Manang valley and Hungre village as well as Hungre airport in Manang. Walking through Deurali, Hungre and Sabjikola, while crossing the bridge, we can see Nepal Mountaineering School, which was established in 1984. We enter into Braga village after crossing this Marsyangdi river. Village settlement of Braga looks unique. It looks as if houses are attached to steep hill bottom. After a half hour trek, we reach Manang village, which covers a large area. Manang, popularly known as Trans Himalayan district of Nepal, has good hotels, lodges, shops to provide good service to tourists that is famous for its unique but beautiful local settlement. From here, we can see lovely and gorgeous Mount Annapurna 2, 3, 4, Mount Gangapurna and ever-shining Tilicho Peak. Another attraction of this place is Gangapurna Glacier Lake at the bottom of Mount Gangapurna.
Another attractive and glorious landmark of Manang is Tilicho Lake, the world's highest lake. In about three hours walk from Manang, we can reach Kangsar. This village lies at 3734 meters above the sea level. Trekker's heart definitely melts with the beautiful Himalaya and spectacular Marsyangdi River's view. Mountain tops are shining like silverware and each peak makes us forget our tiredness of trekking upwards and downwards. This is base camp of Mount Tilicho Peak. This view is of Mount Tilicho and the snow-covered Tilicho Lake. Tilicho Lake is 5,120 meters above sea level and is located at the base of Mount Tilicho Peak. This lake is snow-covered for four months of the year during winter and rest of the time we can see water on its surface. Many prefer to play with snow in this spot and the joy and playfulness is inexpressible. We return downward and spend one night at Base Camp Lodge. Finally, reach Kangsar on the next day, Chaurikharka or Ledar to halt at night. Most of the trekkers of the Annapurna circuit do not trek to Tilicho Lake and base camp. They directly reach Chaudi Kharka or Ledar through Thorangla base camp for night halt from Manang, which is 4,550 meters from sea level. From Thorangla base camp, this beautiful mountainous hills and head of Marsyangdi River, all are welcoming all the tourists. From Torangla bottom, we can reach the top in about five to six hours. This Thorangla Pass lies at 5,416 meters above sea level. There is one tea shop and a signboard as well. This is the highest point of Annapurna's circuit trekking. Every trekker is much excited and rejuvenated by it. The most spectacular views in western side is Mount Dhaulagiri and its range, Tukuche Peak and many more queuing up to be seen and in the southern side the mighty Annapurna range always smiling. Hence, Trekker's happiest day is today at Thorangla passing, quite strenuous and still such adventurous. The trail will be steep at first, then downward and again straight as we trek to Muktinath Temple. A holy shrine visited by millions of Hindu and Buddhist pilgrims from all over the world each year. Riding jeeps are available to reach Jumsum from Muktinath those tourists who do not take flight from Jomsom to Pokhara have the choice of overland trip by bus or jeep via Marfa, Ghasa, Rupsi Chhara or waterfall, Tatopani and Beni. Beni is connected to Pokhara by all-weather road. 
After spending a night in Pokhara, we return to Kathmandu. These attractions make the travel unforgettable. Annapurna circuit journey is organized and managed professionally by Monte Rosa Treks and Expedition Private Limited. This is how we have successfully completed the world famous Annapurna circuit trekking, having very new experience, full of joy. <laughs>